Hello shooters, this uh, short series of videos is going to be about foundational skills, uh, how to load and unload, how to do a press check, how to do malfunction clearance drills, um, how to grip the handgun, things of that nature. These are the things that you want to practice right uh, from the very beginning because practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes habits. Um, Perfect practice makes perfect, which is good habits. We want good habits. So we want to practice uh, as perfectly as we can the things that we want to learn. So these will help you, uh, you know, you saw them at the range. Um, practice them there. This will help you at home. Hey, how did we do that? How did exactly did we do this? So hopefully it will be some benefit for you there. Uh, safety first. Uh, there's no ammunition in this room. There's always at least one closed door between myself and any live ammunition whenever I do dry fire, whenever I do practicing. Uh, that keeps me safe, keeps everybody else safe. At the at the very least it's gonna stop you from putting a hole in your big screen TV. Uh, at the very most it'll uh, prevent you from uh, shooting somebody that you don't want to shoot. Okay, shooters, now we're going to talk about malfunctions. What happens when the gun doesn't run? Uh, everything made by man will eventually fail and not run right, it'll break or it'll malfunction or something. We have to plan on that. We have to plan on having a malfunction. The way we plan on that and how we mitigate that is we plan how to clear them quickly. What we mean by clear them is how do we fix them? We want to fix them really, really fast so we can get back in the fight and have minimal, minimal, minimal downtime. Okay? All right, so the very first one, and you'll remember this, we're up here, we pull the trigger, and nothing happens. Okay, the very first thing we do is we attack the mag, and we attack the slide, and we get back to business. Bang, 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 okay? So, this first one, we're up here, it, it may even shoot once, bang, and then click. Attack the mag. Okay, notice where my eyes are. My eyes are still on you. I'm not looking at the gun because I can see it in my peripheral vision. I attack the mag because I hit it forward and then I attack the slide. Then I go about my business. Bang, 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 click. I attack the mag, attack the slide, and go about my business. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, so that's a malfunction if we get a click. Okay, shooters, another malfunction we talked about in class called a stovepipe because you'll have this piece of brass and it's kind of hard to set up. You pull the slide back a little bit and you stick the brass in there. And you'll see, you'll see this because you can't see your front sight. You can see your rear sight, but you can't see the front sight. And so you know you got a problem, but hey, no big deal. We do the exact same thing. We come up here, we shoot, all of a sudden we see that piece of brass stuck in there. We bring the gun back here in our face. We attack the, the mag, we attack the slide. Now we're good to go. So, uh, we attack the mag, we attack the slide, we're good to go. Notice I said attack the slide, not attack that piece of brass. That piece of brass, it'll come out when I attack the slide. So, we attack the mag, bang, we attack the slide, and we're back in business. Okay, shooters, the next malfunction is when two rounds try and go in the chamber at the same time. When two round, when two, these are called rounds, when two, some people call them bullets, when two rounds try and go into the chamber at the same time. This is kind of difficult to set up. You have to use gravity to help you. We're gonna, we don't set up malfunctions in a gunfight. Uh, so we actually point the gun down and we look down and we drop a dummy round in the chamber. Okay. Now before I let the slide forward, I'm gonna put the magazine in and then I can go ahead and ease, this time I'm gonna ease the slide forward. I don't wanna because it can set the bullet back if you let it fly forward. 
Here's what it looks like after it's set up. Okay, hopefully you can see that. We've got two, uh, two rounds in there trying to get into the chamber at the same time, and it's not going to work. But we don't know that when we're behind the gun. When we're behind the gun, we don't know what the problem is. We're going to come up here, and nothing's going to happen. I'm pulling the trigger, nothing's going to happen. The very first thing I do is I bring it back here in my face. I'm still looking at the bad guys. I attack the mag. I attack the slide. I go forward. I got nothing. Now I know exactly what I got. I got a double feed because attack on the mag and attack on the slide didn't work. Now, all we do is we go to our unload sequence, and you'll see this exactly like we unloaded. I bring the, the gun back here so it's in my face. I rotate it slightly so I can hit the magazine release, and I have to, I'm hitting the magazine release, but it's kind of stuck in there. I have to grab the mag and yank it out. I grab the mag, yank it out, I stick it in my pinky finger there, I come up and I attack the slide two or three times. But I saw the round go out, but I attacked it a, a, a few times. Now I go right back into my loading sequence. I take my mag, I attack the mag, I attack the slide, I'm back in the fight. If you have any questions, just go ahead and shoot me an email or ask down below or ask on my uh, blog. And yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and uh, practice safely, practice correctly, and you'll learn and have a good foundation of skills.